Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Christian Cartel Show. We are on show number eight. Yes, we are on show number eight. And I thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel. You are helping build something new uh, that's for the world to uh, listen to and see so that way they can be built up and be strong. Okay, today we are talking about the Madden 15 game, which comes out August 26th. Those that have seen a couple of the previews, because there's not that many out there. Uh, so hopefully by us adding this one right here, it will make it a lot. You get it? A lot. So I am your host, Minister Stevie T. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, what we're talking about with the Madden 15 game, this is the main thing, the majority thing that they're focusing on on this game. For those that know the Madden games, it is a great game. I know my son loves it. And by the way, uh, go pick up their song, Say Yes, on iTunes or Amazon.com. Uh, it is entitled Say Yes by Stevie T Jr. and Curtis Michael. So I'm saying, so I'm saying yes. So I'm blessed by the best. And yes. And yes, to a sense, I confess. So I won't be stressed. And your bliss is manifest. Manifest. So God, we do. I cry out yes. With the City Side Music Ministry. So if you type in City Side Music Ministries and type in Curtis Michael, M I C H A E L, okay, you will get that song. Support that song. The link is down there, right down there in the description, right here on YouTube or wherever you're looking at it at. Click on that link and buy that song. Support their ministry, support this ministry, and it helps build this show. Um, Getting back into Madden 15, it talks about defense. Now, us as uh, Christians, uh, we need to have defense. So what we're doing today is uh, talking about the Madden 15 game, but we're also talking about in Christ. We always give you some educational uh, and Christian, so that way you can be built up in the real world. Don't always stay in those video games because that's not the real world. The real world is where you went here on earth and Satan, where Satan attacks you. When you're in the flesh, that's what happens. But when you're in spirituality, in Christ, you are protected when you have the right scriptures and been fed. And we are feeding you today. So, what we're going to talk about right now is. Uh, you know, defenses and emotion, because those are the two things that uh, they're focusing on on this game. 75% of their focus. Um, you have to know how to defend your team, your body, your kingdom. So we're also going to give you those, those scriptures uh, concerning that. Um, in this game, I mean, they, they got it now where you can just jump all the way out. Uh, at that person and and and, and uh, knock them down or whatever and grab them and you can uh, use the uh, keys the joystick whatever you want to call it to lean to the right lean to the left you know what I'm saying um, before you couldn't do that now also when you make a touchdown there's emotion everyone's there cheering everyone's cheering like for this show they cheer for the Christian cocktail show you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Turn in your word of God, which they call, y'all call the Holy Bible, to the book of Luke, chapter 11. Okay, chapter 11, go ahead. Verse 21. It says this, When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. Now let's go to the Madden game. Okay. The team is the football team that you chose. Okay. You have to be armed. So in this situation and in, the, in Christianity, you have to be armed with knowledge. You have to be. If you don't have no knowledge on how to defend your palace, it will get taken. It will get torn down by the enemy, the other opponent. 
So this is one reason why we're giving you this scripture. Now this is knowledge. Remember Luke 11 verse 21 says when a strong man armeth keepeth his palace his goods are in peace. So those that are out there playing those video games know that you have to be armed first before you play your opponent. You don't know that person but you know that team. Study the team, but also do some research on that person that you're playing over the internet or wherever you're, you know what I'm saying? Don't just go by the talk, because that's what Satan do. He runs his mouth, he talk a good game to make you just jump up with your emotions and act without having the proper gear. Okay? So remember that chapter. We're going to go into the next one. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own comma and especially for those of his own house he have denied the faith comma and is worth it an infidel and giving the example i'm a king okay i'm a king of the kingdom that god put me here on earth to overlook and to be a steward of so I have to provide for my own household, my family, my relatives, my ministry, those that are associated with me. I have to provide for them or else I'm not a king or else, like it says in the end, and it's, I'm worse than an infidel. What is an infidel? I used to think it was like a baby, an infant. That's what I used to think. But duh, <laughs> it is a person that is not even in the faith. You know what I'm saying? Don't even acknowledge the faith of Christ and God. You know what I'm saying? So we have to provide for our own. Those who playing that Madden 15 game, know that those team members there, the one that has the ball and he's running, you have to protect him. Protect that quarterback. Even though he's the one with that ball, protect him for he won't get hit, okay? They got it now where you can just do all types of uh, camera angles now in the Madden 15 game. So you can see every which way you go or that person goes. You know what I'm saying? And that's good to know because when you're in this Christian walk, folks, you have to have your, kangle at, your, excuse me, your camera at every angle so you can see where the enemy's coming from. That means you have to be prepared. He's not just going to lay down. He's going to always try to find a way to come in. But what you have to do is have cameras pointed on every end, okay, to know where he's trying to sneak in at. Okay, and be looking for areas that you probably wouldn't thought of, that he wouldn't think of. Uh -huh. Go to God and let God show you. So, man, 15 players, get with your teammates, okay, and see what they know. See if there's a leak or a crack anywhere, okay? We're going into the last Christian before we get out of here. Nehemiah, chapter 4, verse 17 through 18. Read. They which build it on the wall, and they that bear burdens with those that laid it. I don't even know what that said. Laid it? <laughs> Whatever. Everyone with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, everyone had the sword girded by his side. And so build it, and he that sounded the trumpet was by me. Now, that tells you right there. Let's, we're going back to uh, 1 Timothy 5, where it was talking about uh, you got to protect your household. This is one reason why you have to protect your household. Because that one in your household, he's somebody only, or she is someone on your team. That means they have a job. It says it right there. That person that sounded the trumpet, he's on that team, and she's on that team. She got to sound the trumpet. If that trumpet's not sound, the people in the land is not going to be warned. Why do you think when Christ comes, you know what I'm saying, that trumpet's going to go off? You see what I'm saying? You got to warn your team, folks. You got to be protected. While you're working, you got to have that protection on your side. You ready. Preparation, folks. Preparation is the key word here. Prepare yourself. You know what I'm saying? For those that are drowning in money right now. You still have to put money to the side to be prepared for an emergency. You know what I'm saying? And for those that don't have money, or who are like me, who keep the faith, that is my money. As long as I keep my faith unprotected, emergencies come. It's there. My faith is there in my God. You know what I'm saying? So And his word. So therefore, I am protected. I'm ready and willing and able for the next battle. Okay, Madden 15 lovers, 
that is the end of this show. So just remember those scriptures. Luke 11, verse 21, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 5, verse 8. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 17 through 18. Write those down. That go to links below. Click on those so that way you can go read more of these scriptures. Uh, study, meditate. Okay. Also, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel below, folks. Also, share this on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Google, wherever you may share it. Share this show so you can help educate someone else on this. Okay. Show your comments. Let me tell you how you show your comments. We're not allowing no one to show type comments because we want you to do it in a way like this. By purchasing the song below, uh, by subscribing to our channel, know that love is action. God made us, you know what I'm saying? He sent his son to die for our sins because he so loved the world because he loved us. But we are out. The Christian Cartel Show. See y'all in the next one, okay? I think Christ, I know the soul That's all the best my soul So in God to feel like The way is so tight The evil we found But we can't fall off Yet we the lose So the word I say yes To Christ I say yes Satan tried to get me But he can't play his mess But the father's too real Prosper's my fear Bigger than Trump He's the art of that deal Satan and asking Do I want that gas Run a pass And buy like a show What's happening Cause time is fast While God is cast So I say yes to him In prayer and fast Say yes You're so amazing God So I say yes God You're the best you're my peace, my joy, my everything. everything.